Are you thinking about heading to Kyoto to see the cherry blossoms in March and April? Make sure you check out the cherry blossom event at the World Heritage Site, Motoreku Naijo Castle. In this video, we'll be showing you the unique experience of witnessing cherry blossoms at night, sharing some travel tips, and explaining how to get there. Let's jump right in. The Naked Flowers, Sakura, World Heritage, Naijo Castle, isn't your typical evening cherry blossom event. It's a huge festival that brings together cool lighting effects, digital art, markets, and more. Once you step inside the castle gate, take your time before checking out the cherry blossoms. Pause for a moment and savor the amazing digital light show. These dazzling light effects run continuously for about two minutes, stretching from Marugod into the lively ground area. When we reached the cherry blossom tree, we couldn't resist tapping the controller and the tree would change color right away. The colors in the garden kept changing along with the delightful aroma and it truly made us feel so relaxed. You should definitely take a moment to check out the projected animations on the cherry blossom trees. They display patterns like hearts and animals and it's quite entertaining. When you visit the Sakura Garden in the middle of the park, you'll find it's the spot with the most cherry blossom trees. It's like a beautiful cherry blossom avenue, and this is the perfect spot for snapping Instagram worthy photos. Besides the digital lights at the entrance, there's also this amazing kaleidoscope like light display over the moat. It gets projected onto the whole city wall and then reflects on the river. When you reach the final section, you'll spot a little night market where they sell Japanese souvenirs. And don't forget, there's a food stall too. Every year in mid-March to early April, the Naked Flowers event featuring Sakura at World Heritage Naijo Castle is held. Since admission doesn't start until 6 p.m. in the evening, there are already groups of people lining up outside. You should definitely buy your tickets online through Cluck. It lets you bypass the line and just scan the QR code get in, which is super convenient. Here's the deal. If you want to visit at a lower price, go there from Monday to Thursday because the tickets are cheaper than on Friday through Sunday. Getting to Naijo Castle is pretty straightforward. Just hop on the Kyoto Metro Tazai line and hop off at Naijo Castle. Maid Station Station, once you step out of Exit 1, you'll have a clear view of Naijo Castle. Another option is to catch City Buses number 9, 50 from Kyoto Station to reach Naijo Castle. If you're coming from the Shijo Karasima direction, you can opt for city buses number 12. One important tip, avoid taking the JR train to Naijo Station. It's a long 17 minute walk from there to Naijo Castle. And trust me, that walk might just bring tears to your eyes. The night cherry blossom festival at Naijo Castle has a really cool vibe, kind of like the immersive art at Team Lab. Plus, the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. I totally recommend adding it to your April plans. You might even want to think about wearing a kimono for some awesome photos. Trust me, the pictures will turn out amazing. If you're interested in learning more about Team Lab and want to add it to your travel plans, take a look at this video. Catch you in the next spot in Kyoto.